Hey, what's up everybody? It's JP with edgeautosport.com and we are gonna show you the Perrin equal length header today for the EJ series motors in the Subaru. To start off, it's made completely of 304 stainless steel. So it's very durable, it's mandrel bent, so the flow is gonna be very, very smooth through, through a lot of the transitions in the manifold. So it's just a really quality, um, material as far as the manifold material goes. The flanges are port matched to the inner diameter of the piping. So what that means is the transition from the cylinder head, the exhaust flowing out of the valve, out of the cylinder head, through the header is gonna be super smooth. Uh, the header is gonna promote a very nice flow, smooth flow through the entire setup. So that's one of the things I really like is the port matching on the on the flange. It's super thick flanges as well, so they're not gonna warp. You're not gonna have any problems with uh, with them breaking or, or warping or not not sealing with the gasket properly. They're very, very nice flanges. Um, it's TIG welded. So aside from looking really amazing with all the nice colors, uh, with the TIG welding, it's it just makes it that much better. Um, it's just the attention to detail and the TIG welding is, is really, makes this thing a precisely built manifold. Next up is the fitment. Uh, you know, this is a two bolt flange on the end here. This is gonna connect to any stock style up pipe. So it, it connects to the stock up pipe it connects to uh, you know, a parent up pipe or, or another aftermarket up pipe that's a stock style. So anything that fits with, with other stock components, this is gonna fit as well. Even a rotated kit that has the stock location uh, entry for the up pipe, this will fit with as well. This is an equal length header. So you hear a lot about equal length or unequal length. The factory header is unequal length. That's what causes that box or rumble. The exhaust pulse is kind of running through the manifold differently than if it was equally uh, being distributed through the runners. So this is equal length. It's gonna change the sound of your Subaru a little bit. It's gonna make it sound more like an, a traditional inline four. It's not gonna, it's gonna take away that boxer rumble a little bit, but that's all for, uh, for good because uh, the equal length means the exhaust pulses running through the manifold runners are gonna transition through the manifold a lot smoother and a lot more organized this is gonna give you more power in the mid-range. It's gonna give you more power in the higher RPM range. It's also gonna give you better spooling characteristics on your turbo. So overall, from a performance standpoint, the equal length is definitely the way to go. And then this is a 4-2-1 design. So it's just very nice flow through the whole thing, feeding the turbo. Okay, and finally, you do have a couple different options for these manifolds. Um, the primary runners on this one in particular in front of me are uh, an inch and a half. So they have an inch and a half and they also have an inch and five eighths or 1.625 inches uh, in diameter. And so you basically just wanna choose which one you need based on your power level uh, for the most part. The smaller primaries are gonna be really good for you know, 400 wheel horsepower area or less. It's gonna pick up power, anything up to that point and below. Um, and then if you have a, a bigger turbo setup or, or you're pushing you know, kind of 450 to the wheel or, or more, you probably want to go with the primaries that are an inch and five eighths. So uh, it's just a matter of application at that point. If you are not planning on going past 400 wheel horsepower, don't get the bigger primaries. It's going to slow down the velocity uh, and it's not going to spool your turbo as well as something like this. Uh, with the smaller turbos, you don't need them to flow at the top end as high as a, as, or as much as a big turbo. So make sure that you choose the right one for your power application. So if you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those in the comments section below, or you can send us an email at sales at edgeautosport.com. Uh, give us a phone call if you prefer at 303-268-2140, and we can get you there. And uh, thanks for watching today. We'll catch you next time.